Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you so so much for joining me today. Um, as always, I want to thank everyone who has subscribed, commented, liked, booked a reading, all that stuff very very much. Um, I'm also going to have the May general predictions out very very soon and that's basically all I wanted to mention. So without further ado, let us get into your piles. We have six piles today. They are all labeled down below. If anyone is feeling indecisive, I also have a auto number generator link in my description box. Otherwise, you can take some time right now to pick with your intuition and timestamps will be down below. Hello, pile one. Welcome to your reading. So starting off, we have milk. We also have the teacup and we have the toad. So what I'm getting from this is there's most likely a past um, connection that's coming up very strong or a connection that just makes you feel childlike makes you feel nostalgic in a way um, and really youthful and i see there's a lot of humor in this connection there's a more light-hearted energy coming for you in the month of may for love but with the teacup it may kind of feel like someone is trying to be more practical or rational about this connection we have saturn's energy i'm seeing there is going to be some type of offer because we have bold move it says an invitation an invitation so it feels like someone here is interested in you so they're coming they're making an offer here um, there's some sort of opportunity but what's really interesting is we have opportunity and we also have standstill so it feels like things are developing in this connection but in some way they also feel stuck i do see you're going to be getting communication some of you may already be speaking to this person some of you are now going to be getting communication um maybe in gemini season because we have the gemini card so that'll be the end of may like around may 20th but some of you are going to even hear from this person earlier um they're interested in you right that's why they want to offer you something or come towards you and it almost feels like with be at home there's like I'm kind of getting codependency issues, but also both of you are really learning to claim your independence and I feel like you're kind of in this dance and discovery of discovering your purpose and you're in a time in your life where you're liberating yourself where this person is. So it's almost like where do you and I stand? Some of you are in a relationship and wondering, you know, um, does this person fit into the bigger picture of my life? Or you're wondering, you're quite curious about if this connection is going to last long term and I feel like spirit is just saying enjoy this connection right now because spirit has a plan basically enjoy this for what it is right now and let it develop naturally is what i'm almost hearing um but i get like a really pleasant and light-hearted energy for you overall wow we have separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so we do have the 11th house which is about independence some of you have been in separation from this person for quite a while or this is a connection that's hot and cold and what i see in may is either due to the pandemic or you know maybe you two are still doing long distance um or otherwise it feels like this month in may someone here wants their independence a little bit more or someone's really focused on their long-term visions and goals basically so there's a little bit of distance um but i still feel like you're talking or this person is quite interested and wants to make a move towards you we have the five of wands some of you had third parties involved or there was a lot of pettiness we have the high priestess so again there's more of an observant energy like you two are kind of watching and observing one another more than clearly communicating i feel like some things are being communicated but there's a lot that you may have a tendency to keep inside like you may think a lot about this connection but not express it we have the king of wands and we have the eight of pentacles i feel like this person is very independent they're very focused on their vision king of cups bottom of the deck they definitely care for you and have emotions but it feels like um they're still maybe you're still trying to overcome your past with this person but with the eight of pentacles here i feel like both of you are trying to focus on your career and yourselves but there's also a part of you like a both a part that both of you like um, still want to work on this you still want to um, create something stable almost there may be a little bit of pettiness like sometimes you two don't see eye to eye which can cause you to feel a little bit standstill or stuck but more so i get a more fun energy like th this month in love is more lighthearted. um 
we have unfinished symphony yeah it feels like you two try to separate from one another and not think about one another but it always feels like things are incomplete so it almost feels like you're meant to kind of spend time with one another or continue this journey to see where to basically see where things go um I think someone here is stepping into a lot of abundance. I feel like this is most likely you. You're in a place where you can manifest really easily. This can be this person too, but you're like, you're excited about more things than just this connection is what I'm seeing for me. We have puppet. So again, in the past, things could have been codependent or you felt like a puppet to this connection and you may kind of feel like you have to please this person or vice versa. There is this energy of like, you two are learning to come into your own. Um, yeah, am I seeing, oh, let's pull, let's do one last card to finish off your reading. I see Leo, Aquarius, Pisces, fire sign, Virgo placements seven of pentacles this makes a lot of sense because in terms of love the seven of pentacles is a pretty neutral card it's like i think you two are both still invested in this you're interested to see how things are developing but there's no like it's not going to be like the most romantic month but it's not also not going to be a conflicting month i just feel like you two are really busy on your individual ventures right now you're also curious about how this connection is going to develop um it says review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor so i feel like in may you're kind of looking out how far you've come and you're not 100% sure where things are going to go but both of you feel like right now you still want to be in touch and you want to be connecting um i'll see, see gemini placement so thank you so much pile one if you want to book a more in-depth 11 dollar reading i have my info down below um thank you again and take care hello pile two welcome to your reading so starting off we have milk pile one also had this which, uh, which is super interesting um because this represents nostalgia past so we may be still affected by past relationships like either the good or the bad of past connections is still um affecting you is what i'm feeling or some past connection is coming through here we also have emily dickinson the soul now um you know emily lived kind of a unconventional life she really rejected societal norms um she wanted to live a life that was more about her soul versus you know the typical rat race so i feel like what you're looking for in may is a love that transcends something much deeper than oh we look good on paper you want something that actually touches your soul um not just in love but in life and in may you are being asked to take more risks like spirit is saying you have such a deep understanding of um how to live a soulful and spiritual life like you could do things if you chose to that are gonna make you feel alive we also have show the world the real you so it feels like you're being asked to take a leap of faith um now what i'm seeing with seduction is there is a connection where there's a deep deep level of attraction i want to see what else is going on here i do get a really like lucky energy for you in may i'm already getting a really good energy because we have the north node we have jupiter you know this talks about things are moving forward that i feel like you're starting to feel more outgoing there's a lot more of a like flirty type energy is what i'm getting um but in the past for some of you like you felt smothered by a connection or someone told you i need space and that really kind of triggered you and that made you want to like hide away you know there was some level of feeling rejected or some sort of shame and i can see that you guys are quite like innocent or you can be a little bit naive where you were in the past and you're afraid that you know because you are like <laughs> you are this kitten right again emily dickinson you're unconventional to all these kind of darker energies or people who who aren't like as evolved in a way they will take it's almost like i'm feeling like you were surrounded by energetic vampires and you're looking for something more pure than that um we have the four of wands okay i already feel like there's someone who has caught your eye and you two are gonna have more fun together you feel a little bit scared to like take that again take that leap of faith with that person is what i'm seeing let's see what else 
we have the queen of wands you're starting to become a lot more confident um you're feeling really really attractive in may we also have the two of pentacles so you're going to be really busy and juggling a lot the eight of wands so i definitely see communication i see ooh, the ten of swords that's really interesting i want to clarify this some of you have been involved in a third party like you know someone has been with someone else this is only like a specific person or a couple of views uh situation and you're finally kind of accepting it and you're moving on with your life is what i'm seeing um and you're kind of ready to put yourself out there more but you're also a little bit scared i feel like a lot of you have been scared to take that leap of faith and kind of move on and um be a bit more bold we have the knight of wands and the empress yeah it's like you come into a place where you you have built so much you have healed so much and it's like if you want to go out there and put yourself out there more the universe is basically giving you the green light and it's also saying it's okay if you don't find true love right now like in may or whenever it is um this is the idea of kind of congratulating yourself and congratulating how far you've come versus at looking at where you want to be basically we have this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so i do feel like there's someone you have your eye on some of you had an ending with this person um but things are picking up i know i'm getting like a lot of different messages so please take what resonates but i feel for those of you um who have an inkling like this person has been watching you or is wanting to come through um, or you can feel their energy tugging at you this person is thinking of you and is attracted to you yeah because there is a lot of chemistry in this connection a lot of you have more than one option okay we have third party here there's more than one option here so for those of you who dealt with someone who always was dealing with other people the universe is saying this month we're giving you options like you know it's kind of spring summertime vibe kind of makes people more social we're in a pandemic but you may notice yourself talking to more people but i feel almost like you're too busy you're like i have a lot on my plate right now at the same time um but the universe is saying like it's it's time it's time to shine it's time to show your individuality to other people basically There is so much to be grateful for, financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. I feel like this Jupiterian energy, this four of wands is actually about financial success in your career. So, you know, because your life is getting better, you know, personally or in your, uh, in your career, you're feeling more magnetic and attractive in love, but you still may be like a little bit unsure of um, if someone likes you back. And I feel like as long as this person isn't dealing with someone else, they do. They do. Or they may even still find you attractive, but some of you have dealt with a third party who was really disrespectful and I feel like you're coming to find something out and you're moving on. And you're also making just a lot of progress um, in terms of your career. There's going to be some sort of success or um, maybe even unexpected money coming in is what I'm noticing. Do I want to pull anything else? Oh yeah, we have ask a effing expert. So some of you like have had a lot of gossip about a connection and you know even tarot readings can be helpful but i'm almost hearing if you can talk to an expert or a professional or some of you are already doing that to get some clarity to work through your um trauma or not even trauma but just issues that you've maybe had in the past because i almost feel with this two of pentacles you have a lot going on your mind you may have two opinions about one person at the same time and i feel like um instead of like I don't see that you're hiding, but you may be really stuck on one person. This Aquarius card, you know, Aquarius is about talking to multiple people, focusing on your dreams, which you are. And I feel like you're finally starting to come out of your cage. And the universe wants you to just keep embracing that energy because May overall feels like a lucky and abundant month for you. Like we have the sun, the north node. We have Jupiter coming up. So I see Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer pisces taurus libra fire sign aquarius placements in your chart or the chart of anyone you are dealing with if anyone wants to book a more in-depth reading my info will be down below thank you all so much and take care hello pile three welcome to your reading so starting off we have the ghost 
so you know it feels like the ghosts of your past may be haunting you um, we also have book and in this uh in this deck it represents hope revelation but also ignorance which i find super interesting because for you this month feels like some heavy conclusions like you're having some major realizations of your past or you have been you know going through the cycle of um releasing the past really powerfully because we have full moon eclipse conclusions are within reach and we also have coffin which is really the same thing it says endings bring new beginnings growth change liberation and transition so um two energies of liberation coming up this feels like you know you're putting the past behind you or you're learning to and you know when we're in a phase where we're kind of in between you know we feel like we don't know where we're going or we're releasing a lot it can cause um because the past was so strong you know of course it's going to be easier to look at the past because our most intense memories or what we knew or maybe what we were comfortable with, comfortable with had to do with the past but in may you're being asked to live more in the present um you know i always say the pandemic has created issues we don't have as many outlets you know whether that's creative outlets or seeing people to do this but hopefully you can find a way um or if you know there are opportunities we have get outside it says get the f outside move your ass i don't think all of you are being inactive this can be metaphorical like you're too much inside your mind but even some physical activity may just help especially if some of you are stressed out by physical activity that can mean your body is holding some sort of trauma or energy um, that you might benefit from if you do it you know in aiding and releasing that now i see some of you we have mars and virgo and saturn are very giving to the point where you overgive and then you're like oh shoot and then saturn comes along and is like you know we're gonna teach you teach you your lesson about when it's okay to give um and when it's okay to hold back and give to yourself and love yourself because virgo represents the healer um, but if the healer themselves is not healed how can you give to others from a place that's going to benefit both of you um, most importantly you so, relaxation i think in may you know it's a season a very indulgent season i feel like you're unwinding you're taking the time to relax more it's going to be a more chilled out month in terms of love you may be like journaling or thinking about your past um you're really busy you're really really busy two of pentacles you're going to be juggling a lot we have the king of cups we have the nine of swords we have the seven of wands we have the eight of pentacles okay so yeah i see you're very involved with work and there is some connection that you feel very emotionally connected to that is burdensome you're still kind of stressing about this and learning to overcome it but at the same time i do see you're trying i see you're putting an effort to overcome the situation you may be setting more boundaries you know you are you're not letting just anyone into your life basically um it feels like people have to prove themselves to make ooh make their way into your life wow, 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 wow. there's someone here who has romantic feelings for you flirt um i want to pull a clarifying energy hmm it may feel like you had a past with this person for some of you not for everyone some of you this is someone new yeah it's like you're transforming <clears throat> very quickly and this person has noticed and i feel like it feels like this person wants to spend time with you wants to be happy with you or at least be friends and connect with you because they have emotions for you but it almost feels like someone is having difficulty living in the moment either this person is not living in the present so they're not reaching out or you two are connecting but for whatever reason like you're worried you're worried about where this is going to go someone here is very practical and likes the idea of long-term stability almost um let's see what else is going on some of you are going to be flirting with this person but it it's like 
it feels as if you almost feel more relaxed when you're with yourself but when you think of this person it causes you stress um because you don't know you're either very preoccupied with your work and like other obligations so there's like a lack of balance almost we have the devil decision release yourself from that which holds you back a need to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence someone in this connection doesn't feel confident maybe feels a little bit codependent it could be you or them or just tends to have negative feelings and thoughts so it's funny how it's the devil but it says decision because you have a choice here you have a choice to free yourself from this toxic um that toxic energy i feel like the universe just wants you to flirt and have fun and not take things too seriously like i'm hearing don't take yourself too seriously especially with um the saturn energy we have the three of wands i do feel like things can grow and expand here because things in, things are growing and expanding in your personal life so just kind of try not to look at what happened or trying not to worry um it feels like almost like unnecessary worry is what i'm hearing like there's nothing you need to worry about i think you've just been through a lot of changes and that change could have been very difficult so you may almost be expecting things to go negatively but i don't think they will this can be this person too okay if some of you haven't heard from someone in so long it's like they're holding back because they're worried that things won't turn out well but i feel like you both have mutual feelings so i see capricorn virgo scorpio aries strong capricorn water sign air sign placements um to anyone who wants to book a more in-depth reading my info will be down below thank you all for joining me and take care hello pile four welcome to your reading so starting off we have a white dress this speaks about appearances so one message i'm getting is that you're going to be more focused on your appearance overall um you may be going out more but i also feel like this is representative of a connection because this card speaks about appearances so someone in this connection really cares about how things look like they behind closed doors may not be um the most diplomatic um or know how to communicate or be very balanced but you know they like to appear to be a certain way so there is like someone here is not apologizing we have it's time to release negativity full moon in scorpio we have apologized and we have rebel so either you're gonna be feeling more rebellious this month it's so i'm getting a mixed energy like i'm not gonna speak too soon because i want to see what the tarot says but i'm getting a mixed energy so we had the king of cups but it didn't fall out which is really interesting we have the six of pentacles we have the seven of swords okay okay here we go and we have the eight of swords all right so i see that there is some sort of betrayal here okay um because this scorpio card it, it speaks about toxicity and it feels like this you're dealing with someone or this is you you're like bye i'm choosing another person or you're trying to make this person jealous and if this is you i'm hearing don't do it in spite because you're only gonna hurt yourself like you may do it to fill a void but it's not actually working if that makes sense there's like a lot of built-up negativity i feel like there's a lot of intensity we're having the full moon in scorpio today but actually the side reel full moon in scorpio is going to be in may so i feel like this is going to activate a lot of stuff you may find out some secrets during this time okay i feel like um you may be finding something out or you have an inkling that something isn't right but i feel like someone is rebelling this person could have hurt you in the past so now you're deciding to like try and get payback is what i'm almost feeling for some of you um but i feel like you've been overthinking this connection and the universe is almost like this is a little bit unbalanced like it's not an equal give and take what's really interesting is that you're having you're also having a good time okay we have the teacup so i see may is gonna have laughter for you like I feel like you might do things to distract yourself from this but when you're you know you're trying to distract yourself but you actually end up enjoying yourself but then you end up coming back and thinking about this again and it keeps you like a little bit stuck here okay let's see what else is going on what's 
going on for this pile we have trust and finances and career yeah i feel like there's a lot of trust issues in this connection i feel like you may not be able to trust this person or this pe this person feels like they can't trust you but a lot of you i feel like can't trust this person like they're being toxic here they're keeping secrets um i feel like the universe wants you to focus more on yourself like that's what you're kind of meant to develop that's when you're going to start to as you focus on yourself start to see um you know start to see that you can build something by yourself um that something negative like this and you know something that's keeping you in a negative cycle is holding you back like this person may just be holding you back to be honest let's see what else you can do anything right now go after what you want the ability to attract helpful people so you're very attractive you're very magnetic this month you know you do have luck on your side so i'm hearing wherever you put your energy is what you're going to manifest this month like you can manifest a really fun month or a month where you take the time to heal or but it feels like you have a choice to either release these emotions or hold on to them um but there's something really charming about your energy and i do feel like you are taking back your independence a lot more some of you are finally releasing this cycle you're like i'm finally like you know i really want to let go of this i don't want to feel this way we have the page of swords so yeah there may be like this energy of you to watch one another like there's a lot of stalking um on someone's end i want to pull one more card the sword and rose so i feel like you're cutting this person off like you feel like this person is being very cold or like distasteful towards you so you're like you know what i'm cutting this off or this isn't good for me right now um we have openness some of you are really stuck on something and like are being asked here to remain open to lots of different possibilities don't just get stuck on one outcome because when you open yourself up and when you take action that shows that you're open to newness in all aspects of your life you're going to start to notice you know these miracles coming in you're going to start to notice that you know i don't have to keep myself here i deserve better than people who keep me in this negative cycle so i'm seeing libra gemini scorpio fire sign air sign um to anyone who wants to book a more in-depth reading my info is down below thank you all so much for joining me and take care hello pile five welcome to your reading so um pile two i think i forget what pile had this card as well which is really interesting um we have the soul so it almost feels like a little bit collectively um we're looking for a connection here that's going to fulfill us um a lot of you aren't so interested in leading a conventional life we have moon and scorpio in the sixth house you want to live a life or you want to be with someone who makes you feel passionate about life who you feel like understands you on a soul level like you may be i feel like some of you are like almost worried that you lost something like something that made you feel really passionate um but i also feel that a lot of you are fed up like there's been some separation with someone this could be happening but i feel like it's already happened for a lot of you you're kind of giving someone the silent treatment you may be having a little bit of some begrudging feelings is what i'm almost getting but others of you actually are going to be meeting someone new i'm getting a more casual energy though um like you're just open to the ideal or you're going to be connecting with new people so let's see we have the six of wands so i do see you're feeling more popular or you're getting success or you're just noticing that more people are noticing you we have the queen of swords you're very like you're in this energy where you're very cutthroat with the people around you like if someone has proved to you that they're not worth your time you're not going to give them the same energy that maybe you used to give them in the past um let's see what else a lot of people are noticing you like noticing what you're doing we have the ten of wands and the seven of cups you may be overwhelmed with your options or you may be even overwhelmed with your fantasy like i have this fantasy of the type of love i want is it possible 
and I feel like it definitely is but you may have to face some truths about just the people you dealt with and yourself you know sometimes the most difficult thing to, to do can be to first of all accept that someone did something to us a lot of the times and maybe this was you in the past you were in denial you're like no um this person is worth it i would do anything for them oh here it is sorry i was just looking for a deck and then the second phase can even be harder which is forgiving and letting go once we realize and accept that we were disrespected and we allowed that and a lot of the times we're putting so much pain and hurt onto someone else but it's actually just us and something that's not healed like the understanding that we can move on that we can do better that we can let go because i know it's easier said than done especially with grudges but you know you may feel like you have so much to do and you have so much you need to give right now that you just wish that you didn't have to go through that pain because it would make life easier it would make life easier to balance and juggle and you may feel like i've been through so much and i'm taking care of so much but it's kind of this idea um you know the sixth house is our routine it's our work it's our daily stuff we do that's good for us so just be aware of your self-talk like what what are you what energy are you putting out there are you doing things that can lighten up your energy because scorpio can be a little bit serious and intense so this is kind of the idea of yes you have a lot of passion but how can you like transmute that passion i do see a lot of you are starting to finally feel better about yourself so focus more on this and focus more on what makes you feel like the star of your own life versus the victim okay so some of you are at a job that's very intense yeah you're holding on to a lot of shame regret and guilt stop trying to change people that never works I feel like you saw the potential in someone and the potential of something you perhaps could have had but it's like your fantasy and everything you wanted is waiting for you so don't let yourself be overwhelmed by what's not working the ten of swords and the king of pentacles yeah it feels like it's time to focus on your career and it feels like you're starting to get actually more accomplished because you let go or are needing to let go of things that don't work for you people that don't work for you as you let go and are able to forgive people you're actually going to start to notice more abundance in your life because you're making space for more positive energy because your body like we can try and be positive but if we're not letting go of the negative it's going to be hard for that abundance and those blessings to make their way through which they are i feel like you're going through a time of transition and again some of you are putting yourself out there which is i think really positive for you um let me pull maybe one more card i see scorpio virgo cancer air sign um we have take a leap of faith take a leap of faith in the people you've been wanting to talk to but have been holding yourself back from putting yourself out there more there's a lot of uh, like this card speaks about how there's abundance so for this pile particularly i'm seeing there's this abundance waiting for you just trust it you're gonna start to notice in may that good things are happening to you but it's like you just need to make more space for these things to grow because it feels like you're finally leaving the past behind and better times can come ahead so um, yes, yeah, Scorpio, Virgo, Cancer, Air Sign, Earth Sign Placements, Gemini, Virgo, to anyone who wants to book a more in-depth $11 reading. My information is down below. Thank you all so much for watching and take care. Pile 6, welcome to your reading. So starting off, we have the Hedgehog, Hedgehog, oh my god, I don't know why I said it like that. Really cute. Um so this card represents vulnerability it can also represent being afraid of being vulnerable but i almost feel that your heart is opening up more like you're feeling more soft-hearted you're feeling more in your feelings so we also have venus in the 10th house the fourth house and the fifth house i'm seeing blessings in the home career and romance as well or just having fun um let's see what love oracle we receive yes we have no you hang up so i'm seeing there's someone 
you're going to be talking to on the phone or in real life and you're feeling very giddy like you know it's that idea of no you hang up no you hang up no you so it feels like there's someone that you can't get enough of and vice versa i feel like this is the best reading so far that's the energy i'm getting um let's see what tarot we get if you were dealing with someone who's very serious in the past they're opening up more as well now yeah, we have the world. You know, the world is about a happy ending. It feels like you were hoping for things to turn out and they are. Things things work are working out the way you basically wanted them to. The Nine of Cups, you're gonna have some sort of wish fulfillment with someone. Um, and you're more excited about the future that you two have. I feel like you're starting, you two may start planning like once the pandemic is over, we should do this and we should go here. Like that's the energy I'm getting and the page of cups. Now, for some of you, this is like puppy love or this is a new connection or even if this is someone you know, uh, it feels like someone here is a little bit shy, but you can sense like you can, uh, you can sense what they feel for you, but they just may not be the best at communicating it like they or you may not you may like show that you care but you may not know how to like fully say it like hi yes i do like you or i do want this unless you're already in a relationship you two could be doing more creative things together is what i'm noticing uh pile six prosperity arising from wise planning um time to take the next step optimistic plans that turn out as expected so it feels like things are expanding and growing i feel like this month you're finally taking a leap of faith or already have or this person is and because of that things are growing um, not only in this connection but in your personal life i feel like in your career you may be getting more noticed um, more recognition you're like proud of your work and i also see you're enjoying life more um, you're living more in the moment and like for example in the past if you were like not going through a good time you were going through a bad time in your life maybe you hated going to work or having to dress up or um you kind of lost your creative inner child like you just didn't feel like doing things that has changed a lot there's more inspiration there's more creativity um yeah i definitely feel like this is the best reading so far i feel like may is going to be a really really fun month for you and you're going to be really happy with your connections and just you know with your life and let's do maybe a couple more cards so you're entering a gateway you know you're leaving behind the past and you're entering like a better you a new you a better future basically oh my god such a positive reading so oh let's do actually one more card and then we'll finish off for oops oh good for pile six tend to the small things so i do feel like so much is going to be going on and you're going to be really happy and um either you need to just remain focused on your responsibilities a little bit like because i feel like you're enjoying yourself so much spirit is saying um just so you're prepared for like june or the upcoming months you know because you have all this good luck and prosperity use this energy to organize things or some of you are doing this but that can just help like help you overall i feel like the universe is saying this because you're in a time where you can build a really positive foundation with this positive energy so to just kind of use the energy during this time which you will have i see leo cancer capricorn taurus libra fixed sign placements and fire sign sagittarius um to those of you who would like to book a more in-depth 11 dollar reading my info is going to be down below thank you so much and take care